How's it going, Poke fans? Poke fan Brand here. Another Paldean Fates video. This time around is a full display of the Booster Bundles 60 packs. I want to pull some stuff. I want to get closer to completing this set. So, not much to say other than thank you for watching today. So let's get into it. All right, everybody. There's our 60 packs. Let's get into it. Now, because there is a lot of packs, I'm not going to be slow rolling anything. What we're going to be doing is four to the front, which brings the first reverse slot right here. So if there's a shiny, it's the first thing you see. And if there's nothing, that's okay. Now I've been getting somewhere around the mid 60s on pull rates, like 60% of the packs I open have a hit. So with 60 packs, Expect to get somewhere around 40 pulls, but we'll see. There we go, our first hit, a regular Fortress EX. We'll line the hits up in the front. Have you guys pulled your chase from Paladin Fates yet? My two chases are the Guard of War and the Mew SARs. And I've pulled neither of them. The only SARs I've pulled so far have been trainers, like Clive and Iona, Penny. Still also need Pikachu Baby Shiny. And Charmeleon. Did get the uh, Charmander. Wouldn't mind the Charizard SAR. It's not like my biggest chase, but it is a Charizard, so. Wouldn't mind pulling it. Shinx. Alright, so after this video is done, we're actually gonna recap the binder. After this, we're gonna be like 220, 240 packs in. So we'll recap the binder at the end of this video. Professor's research to Dene. Nope, nothing, nothing fancy there. Come on, Pikachu. Bring us some luck. Fort to the front. Oh, Vacherisu. This has way too many baby shinies. I've had a lot of people, uh, talking to some people, I've had people comment on the videos saying that like the pulls are too repetitive. And I agree with you. Oh my god, baby nemesis. I agree with you. This, it's a large set, but that set is mostly the baby shinies. This portion of the set that is like full arts, illustration rares, SARs, stuff like that, it's small. And the fact that you're getting like a pull in like 60, 65% of the packs, yeah, there's a lot of dupes. So we're 10 packs in, five hits, 50% so far, not too bad. Not, not as good as I've been getting from Scarlet and Violet, probably in Fates, but when it comes to Scarlet and Violet in general, pretty good. It's like sixth Mew. Oh, and this is probably the sixth Palafin. What am I doing? No, nothing else in there. There we go. Also, did finally pull the Wug Trio. It only took 140 packs. Pulled like eight of the Pommies, three or four Palafins, and one Wug Trio. And we're now, I think we're about 160 or 180 packs in. Mime Jr. That's the one that's part of the six piece artwork. And speaking of Wug Trio. Halfway through, almost halfway through the second stack. One, two, three, four. Riolu. All right, come on. Still don't know that thing's name. Tink is something. Ralts. Charmander. Sarilich. 
Sarah Lidge, let's go. One of the video ideas I had is to open another like 40 packs, about 10 of each pack art and see which pack art has the most luck. Yes, I know that's not scientific because it is random. Maybe make a nice video. Or it could just be a stupid idea. Charmeleon. Great, great tusk. Coming to the end of well, three packs left in the second stack. Come on. Four. Hunter. Prime ape. Clive. Where are we going? There we are. Who's excited for temporal forces? I am. I'm more hyped for that than I was for this. I just like the fact that the pull rates are good on this so I can open it and there's actually pulls in the video. But temporal forces. Those uh, Paradox Legendaries. Entei Suicune and Raikou. I don't hate them. I did originally. But they're kind of growing on me a little bit. I think I needed that actually. All right. Slide these over a little bit so there's room. All right, stack three, let's get into it. Making good time, like I said. Yes, making a half an hour, 40 minute video might get me more watch time per viewer, but at the end of the day, I don't want you guys sitting here for 45 minutes when I can basically show you the hits in these packs in less than half that time, hopefully. The point of this is just, let's see what we can get from 60 packs. Knack stack, Iono, Hound Stone. Nest Ball, Anki. Mimic Q. Alright. I'm also excited for the upcoming uh, Japanese sets. We've got Crimson Haze coming in March. The Blood Moon or Saluna on the cover. It's going to have, I believe, the Ogre Pond and its masks in it from the game. I forget the name of this. I think they've released the names of the next four sets over the next few months. No Crimson Haze is coming. I'll put them down here. If you're interested in the Japanese side of it. Two, three, four. Do have that already, or I would be excited. Any Kanto Shinies are appreciated. Curious how many of these are actually actually going to be added to the binder. Also curious if in 60 packs we're going to be able to get a special illustration rare. Almost through the third stack. I'm pretty sure I needed that. Two packs left and then we'll be at the halfway point. There we go. Two, three, four. Gengar. Nope, nothing. And the bulk's falling over. Come on. Last pack, third stack. After this, we're halfway through. One, two, three, four. Nope. Ooh. Gold card. Okay, I'll take that. All right, so that's a pretty good way to end the first half, but we got another 30 packs to get into. Let's get into it. Happy we got a gold. Now we just need a special illustration rare. Like I said, preferably the Mew or the Gardevoir, but I take a Zard. Noivern. 
Anything else? Nope. Next pack. Shout out to Pokey Fang for giving me yeah, well, the, the pack trick, basically. Got the idea from him. He's the one that, if you watch Poker Rev's videos, he's the one that sent in, like, it was like 11 shiny Charizard V Maxes from Shining Fates. Because Rev couldn't pull it for himself. He'd, he has pulled it since. That's how most people know who Poke Fang is. Come on. Need something good. There's texture on that. Glamora. Okay. Uh, with all these dupes, Trade Binder is going to be packed. Maractus. That was... Pulled it already, but that was the last regular EX that I was missing. Two, three, four. There we go. I know I needed that. The Charmander and Snorlax and a couple other baby shinies that I pulled. Let me get through this pack and I'll get a question. Whooper. Judge. All right. Quick question. Because a few of my shinies, just the text for the name was like smudged. I have pulled like five or six of them out of the same case of ETBs. Since then, I haven't had any issue with that. Has anybody else had that issue where... It's like the, the name is smudged. Four. Another great tusk. Camera. There we go. Code card. Nemesis. Heat Rotom, something there. Toad Scroll. Last pack from the fourth stack. Something. Yep, seventh Mew. Now I just need one, at least one. I want one of the SAR Mews for my personal binder. Texture again. Do duo. Running out of room on the table here. Guess that's a good thing. Two, three, four. Prime it. Not too zatu. What sets do you want to see go against Paladin Fates? I've already done Crown Zenith, done Shiny Treasure EX, Shining Fates, Hidden Fates. What set do you want to see go against Paladin Fates? Or what other two sets do you want to see go against each other? This Saturday's battle, I haven't filmed yet. Usually I film them like a week or two ahead of time. I don't know what to battle. Let me know what you want. Be anything Scarlet Violet Sword and Shield, be English, Japanese. If I can't think of anything, then I'll probably just do another English vs. Korean. Because I did English vs. Korean of Evolving Skies. So, EV Heroes, Blue Sky Stream, Box of Korean, and equal dollar value of Evolving Skies. Just do that again, but with like Lost Origin or Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars. Could also do like Pokemon Go. Not the most popular set, but there are some cards I want. Uh, 
Japanese versus English. Basically like $100 of each. I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys want to see. Because at the end of the day, yeah, the cards being pulled are for me, but the videos are for you guys. Abra. Wow. Almost 50 packs in with no SARs. We did pull some nice cards, but I want at least one SAR. Preferably a Pokemon SAR, not a trainer. Oh, Squawk Billy again. Start putting pulls up there. We're running out of room over here. We're literally going off the playmat. Execute Lantern. Another Clive. Last pack from the fifth stack, pack 50. Four to the front. No. Well, last stack of 10. Another judge. Yep, way too many dupes. But like I said, the full art section, illustration rares, things like that. It's not enough of them. Maybe. Nope. We've got like eight packs left. Decent opening so far. I haven't really pulled anything big other than that one gold card, wherever that is down there. Very candy. Give me cool. Heat Rotom. So I'd be happy with another gold. I'd be happy with an SAR, preferably the SAR. Mime Jr. Yeah. Now that's a card you pull a lot of. Paldean student. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Come on. Maybe. Go villain. Nothing else. We got four packs left. Squirrel of it, okay. Come on. Something big. Finish this off. Come on. Aractus. Ultra Ball. The other Paldean student. Okay. Expecting these booster bundles to do a bit better when it comes to the bigger pulls. Because if you watch Danny Phantom's video, I think he pulled like five SARs out of one case of these. Yeah, they're not all gonna be like that, but I was expecting at least one. Last pack. Then we'll get everything cleaned up, run through the pulls, and update the binder. Two, three, four. Last shot at anything shiny. Nice. You know what? We got two packs here. Yeah, two more. There's random packs sitting here. Might as well open them while we're here. These are left over from those uh, premium collections. I opened a few of those to stock my daily openings. Yeah, no, nothing. Last one. Well, 
one, two, three, four. That feels textured. Garedent. Yeah. All right, so let's get everything sleeved, organized into kind of rarities. Then we'll run through it. Then we'll put it in the binder and we'll update it. And I'll look up how many packs I've actually opened so far. All right, so everything's sleeved and cleaned up. When it comes to the numbers, we did pull six EXs, Fortress, Squawkabilly, two Toad Squirrels, and two Great Tusks. Baby Shinies, we pulled 16 of them. Doduo Primeape, Abra Shinx, Pachirisu. Don't believe we duped on any of them. Well, in today's opening, half of those are dupes. Like when, you look, when we go to the binder, three Illustration Rares, two Palafins, and a Wug Trio. Full Art Trainers. Six, both uh, both versions of the Paladin Student, two Clives and two Judges, Full Art Pokemon, eight, Squawkabilly, Pidgeotto or Pidgeot, Gardevoir, Fortress, Noivern, Glamora, and two Muse. Gold, just the one Ting Lu, and that is literally right on where I predicted. Like I said, I was getting mid 60s pull rates, like so far in Paladin Fates, and we got 40 hits, 40 out of 60 is 66 percent. So, one more thing before we end it off, let's get what I did. Let's get what I did need into the binder, and we'll run through the binder now. All right, there's the binder. Here are the dupes. Saw stuff that I had already. Quickly, the numbers. Going into this opening, we had 123 pulls out of 186 packs opened, 66%. This video, 40 out of 60 packs, had hits, 66.6, basically 67%, including the two packs at the end there. Total packs opened so far is 248 packs. We had 163 hits. That's 65.7%. So basically, 66%. Now let's get into the binder and see what basically 250 packs has given me. So here we have our promos. Prop that up so you guys can see it. All right, that's a bit clear. So ETB promos, yeah, I've opened about a case and a half of ETBs, but three of those, three pack blister promos, tin promos, the premium collections, blank page, because I have a feeling there might be still products coming, even though they said they're not, but even with Crown Zenith, they release stuff later. But baby shinies, obviously there's a lot of them. Few missing ones there, a couple missing ones there. Most of the fire ones missing, a lot of the water ones missing. Yeah, like I said, very large shiny vault in this. A lot missing. Completed a couple of evolution lines though, so I'll take that. There we go. Now on to the important stuff. Full arts. What are we missing here? I don't know. I'll put it here. I don't even. Yeah, I can't even think it off the top of my head. Missing a couple cards there. Obviously, we pulled all illustration rares. Full arts. We have everything. Missing a couple there. So, don't know the order of them, but Charizard, Mew, Gardevoir are in here. And a couple SRs that we have already. And then most of the golds are missing. So, 250 packs in. And a lot's missing. But like with Danny Phantom, took them thousand packs two thousand packs something like that it was a lot of packs to complete the master set so i'm happy with what we've had so far still going to mix in poly and fates here and there not going to be all of the videos like it's been now because poly and fates is fresh but i'll still mix it into battles and stuff like that i still have a few cases of etbs i have a few full displays of these booster bundles still so not much more to say a longer video today if you made it this far i do really appreciate it I know there's a select few of you that watch everything, comment on everything, and I see you. I see you, and I appreciate the support. Now, like I said in the beginning, maybe I didn't. Either way, 1,000 subscribers is coming up quick. When we get there, we're going to be opening 100 plus packs, Silver Tempest, Three Languages, Japanese, English, Korean, Chasing the Rainbow, Rainbow, Altar Lugia, and there's going to be anywhere between two and seven giveaways. So get in on that. Not sure if it's going to be live or just a video, but either way, when I hit a thousand, I'll put up the link to enter. It'll be in the description of every video. 
Same way Deep Pocket Monster does the thing where you just enter your email, YouTube name. Easy to enter. All right. Enough talking. Video's long enough. Again, I do appreciate if you made it this far. And I hope you come by again soon. Yeah. <sighs>